6 uur 25 en we zijn net vertrokken in Brussel Zuid voor onze lange reis naar Oslo. We moeten zes treinen nemen en we houden nu op de hoogte. Een lange week. Tijd om te slapen in deze vele te krappe slaaptrein. Slaapbouw! Stappen op de laatste trein. We zijn aangekomen in Oslo. Na 28 uur. We driving een electric vehicle. What, what type is it? It's a Golf Volkswagen. And uh, how come you're so happy with it? Uh, I moved from uh, downtown Oslo to a little bit outside Oslo a year ago and I have taken the tram in Oslo for one year and that is so terrible so I thought about moving back downtown mm -hmm. instead I bought this car and now I can live where I moved a year okay. ago yeah and what about the price is it expensive to buy an electric car this car costs 250,000 Norwegian kroner mm -hmm. new if you want a car with fuel it's 400,000. You are not paying the VAT, 25% VAT. It's on all cars except from the electric car. So it's a lot of benefits for having this electric okay. car. Yeah. Uh, also another reason for electric car is electric car in the morning. It can be uh, uh, driving the bus line. And for the, the normal cars, the, the diesel cars, yeah. is it maybe even harder to find the parking spaces? No, they just have to pay. Mm -hmm. and just pay a lot to park and here it's free. Okay. So it's 16 hours free and free charging, so uh, of course you, you save quite a lot from doing that. My name is uh, Espen Hauge. I am the president of the Norwegian EV Association and the vice president of Avera, the European Association for Electromobility. Can you please tell us why electric cars are such a great way of transportation? These are uh, cars that uh, are three to four times more energy efficient. They uh, have a life cycle uh, CO2 emission, which is on average twice as low as the, the regular car these days. And this uh, footprint will just continue being reduced. It is uh, the car of the future. Can you explain us why electric cars are such a big success in Norway? It uh, is of course related to the, the good incentives we have. Uh, we have uh, politicians that made sure that the cars are competitive in price. Uh, and uh, there are additional uh, incentives like access to uh, free uh, parking and, uh, and free uh, passing of toll roads, etc. What are the present and future obstacles of electric cars in Norway? Uh, it's just that we need more uh, cars of different sorts. The electric cars that are on the market, they're very successful in their um, segments, but not all segments are covered. So that needs to develop. And we see as soon as there is a new model on the market, there's a, a little boom in the sales. In, uh, in a wider term and globally, I think, uh, we have to work a lot on perceptions. People need to be aware of the technology, they need to learn that it actually works. Uh, and once you get started, when you get some people driving electric cars, they will talk to their neighbors. And uh, that's a very interesting finding in Norway, that there's a big neighbor effect. So uh, that's how you really sell cars, by hearing from your neighbor that it works well. What are you expecting from the climate negotiations in Paris regarding electric vehicles? I think there's a, a message uh, of, uh, of hope from the electric cars. There's a huge potential to change things faster than, uh, than we tend to think. I hope also there will be some, uh, some strong messages coming from private companies and from, from, uh, from the negotiating states that they will commit to moving forward with even mobility and implement incentives and uh, do R&D and develop the cars further. So uh, I have uh, high hopes. 